My uh, favorite part of the hip hop song is the very beginning of the song because it sounds like the rapper is trapped in the dark <laughs> and he's trying to find his friends. <laughs> Yo, this is Jay-Z, where's everybody at? <laughs> For real, holla if you hear me. Everybody put your hands up. It is all black everything in here. I cannot see my haters. Kanye, you a fool for this one. Ha ha ha. East side, west side, can a brother just get some coordinates? I'm gonna do an impression of my favorite rapper. Andre 3000, yeah. performing his hit song, Hey Ya. But while he's performing the song, unfortunately, he becomes a white supremacist. And then he tries to get women to join his cause. All right, now fellas, tell me, what's cool than being cool? Ice cold. All right, 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 all right. Okay, now ladies. The weirdest job I ever had was doing ghost tours uh, at a slave plantation. Uh, by, the time, by the time I was there, the slavery was gone, but the, but the, but the plantation was still there. Uh, the weird thing was, in my ghost tours, they didn't want me to mention slavery, all right? Can you imagine that? Uh, you don't have to, I'm gonna show you what it was like right now, okay? <sighs> Welcome, weary travelers. I'm sorry I'm out of breath. I've been working hard all day at my unpaid internship. Um, if you'll follow me here through the kitchen, you'll see many seasonings and spices that historically white people have never touched. Uh, someone uses them, but we do not know who. Uh, over in the corner is a banjo. The banjo has its origins in Africa. How did it get all the way here to Georgia? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> this, uh, uh, this plantation that I worked at, it was in a place in Georgia called Stone Mountain. And if you've never been, Stone Mountain is known for having probably the largest Confederate monument there is. It's on the side of the mountain, right? And, you know, people um, have feelings about Confederate monuments. There's some people that are like, you know, that's a part of our history, our heritage, and if it's a Confederate monument, it needs to stay up. And then everybody else is like, uh, what, you know? <laughs> I believe if you, have to com if you have to keep a Confederate monument someplace, if you want to keep it there, that's fine, but then you have to build a bigger statue above it of LeBron James dunking on it. <laughs> I, in general, I don't like the way that black history is taught in schools because it seems like teachers have a tough time talking about blackness without always attaching uh, trauma and suffering to it, uh, even though there's more to the story. So let's say, for example, like right here is the beginning of black history, and then right here is the year 2020. This is how I see it being taught in schools a lot of the time, all right? <clears throat> no! of Obama. No! <laughs> but if you had a more informed teacher, the way that they'd really teach that is... Nobody stopped us! We kept going, triumphing through everything. OJ did it. And we kept trying to do what we had to do! I'm gonna switch it up, I'm gonna do a quick impression for y'all. This is my impression um, of a Game of Thrones character singing the lyrics to the Cupid Shuffle, okay? 
Down, down, do your dance, do your dance, do your dance. Down, down, do your dance, do your dance. To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the king of the north. seen that show, you know that was an abbreviated impression. Um, I like hanging out with my grandparents, but it feels like no matter what happens, whenever I go to their house, I always leave more religious than when I came in. For example, I was at my grandma's house the other day, and I said, Grandma, may I have the Wi-Fi password, please? And she said, the password is Ezekiel 5-4. I was like, okay, cool, fine. Uh, I typed in Ezekiel 5.4, it didn't work. And I was like, excuse me, Grandma, I typed in Ezekiel 5.4, it didn't work. And she's like, no, you gotta type in the full text of Ezekiel 5.4, and, and when you write out the full verse, God is gonna grant you the internet, you know? <laughs> People are raised different, you know? You have different upbringings. Uh, I, I've learned that the way that I learned Old McDonald was different than other people. Uh, so this is the old McDonald that I learned, okay? <clears throat> old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink, oink here, oink, oink there, here an oink, there an oink, 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 oink. Old McDonald had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had a neighbor, E-I-E-I-O, and the neighbor went, let me in, old McDonald. I know I'm just a farmhand, but there's a storm coming. Please, let me in, old McDonald. I see you in that warm house with the fire and potatoes cooking. Please let me in. It's cold out hey, outside. I need food and I need shelter. Please, old McDonald, I'm out. Asking you, E I E I O, and on this farm he had some sheep, E I E I O, with a ba ba here, ba ba there, here ba there ba everywhere. Surprise! It's me disguised as a sheep, old McDonald. I know you heard me the first time, but you didn't answer, so I slaughtered the body of a sheep, climbed inside to get through your fence, but your door remains locked, old McDonald. Please, the storm draws close. Oh no, I'm caught in the tornado, old McDonald. I die now, but my blood is on your hands. I will haunt you forever. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> old McDonald had a television set. E-I-E-I-O. And the television set had ABC, NBC, CBS. And surprise, it's me, old McDonald, your neighbor, appearing as a ghost through your television set. I told you I'd haunt you for your entire life. And here I am. <laughs> I'm going to spoil everything for you, old McDonald. You want to watch The Crown? Surprise. The monarchies are obsolete. You want to watch something on the ABC network? I'm going to spoil it for you as well. I'm going to be here forever. <laughs> Ha, E-I-E-I-O. That's how I did song. Yeah. You know, do y'all like mysteries? Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna perform like a little mystery suspense thriller for y'all, okay? So this is a mystery suspense thriller. <clears throat> Kroger bread, $2.99. Publix bread, $4.99. <laughs> what you doing, Publix? What you doing, Publix? Kroger blueberries, $4.99. Publix blueberries, $3,000. What you doing, Publix? What you doing, Publix? Kroger cookie cookies, two for a dollar. Publix cookies, your soul. What you doing, Publix? What you doing, Publix? Hello, Sherlock Holmes, ring, ring, ring. Sherlock Holmes, hello, Sherlock Holmes. Uh, chip, chip, cheerio. Yes, this is Sherlock Holmes. What seems to be your mystery? Uh, well, Sherlock Holmes, Publix bread, two ninety nine, Or no, rather, Kroger bread, two ninety nine. Sorry, Sherlock Holmes. Kroger bread, two ninety nine. Kroger bread, two ninety nine. But Publix bread, however, four ninety nine. Chip, chip, cheerio. You broke up. Did you say Kroger bread, two ninety nine? Publix bread, four ninety nine. Uh, yes, indeed, Sherlock Holmes. 
That is what I said, but wait, there is more. Kroger blueberries, $4.99. Publix blueberries, $3,000. Chip Chip Cheerio, Chip Chip Cheerio indeed. Kroger cookies, two for a dollar. Publix cookies, your soul. Uh, Sherlock Holmes is on the click case. Click, let's see, www.expedia.com. Flights from London to, uh, let's see where we are, today. Chattanooga. All right, click. All right, airplane, 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 airplane. Land in Tennessee. Uh, excuse me, Uber, it's me, Sherlock Holmes. One Uber ride to your Publix, please. Uh, sure thing, Sherlock Holmes. Drive, 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 drive. Skirt! Uh, mm, let's see, we are here in the Publix. Publix, 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 Brand 499, what you're doing, Publix. $3,000, Blueberry is what you're doing, Publix. You're sold for some cookies. What are you doing, Publix? What are you doing? What is that? Let's see. Public subs, these are amazing. That's what you're doing, Publix. Mystery solved. You know, that's a mystery. <laughs> that's um, I had a basketball coach that meant a lot to me uh, growing up. And uh, so basically I want to do an impression of my basketball coach uh, for y'all right now, if that's okay. <clears throat> all right. All right, everybody bring it in. Everybody take a knee, all right? Everybody take a knee. Now, they say that basketball is just passing, dribbling, and shooting. <laughs> nah. Basketball is life, all right? Anything you can do in basketball, you can take that same determination, same willpower, and be anything that you want to be. You know what, years ago, I had a kid. This kid was number five foot three, and this kid wanted to be a center in the NBA. Number but five foot three wanted to be a center in the NBA. So what'd he do? Woke up every morning, passing, shooting, dribbling, passing, shooting, dribbling. You know what that kid grew up to be? That kid grew up to be the Shaquille O'Neal, exactly right. <laughs> Y'all don't believe coach. <laughs> Y'all don't believe coach, that's fine. <laughs> fine, there was another kid, all right? This kid was number three foot five, all right? Kid number three foot five wanted to be a center in the NBA. So what he do? Woke up every morning, passing, shooting, dribbling, passing, shooting, dribbling, passing, shooting, dribbling. You know that kid grew up to be? That kid grew up to be Oprah. Exactly right. That kid grew up to be Oprah. Exactly right. <laughs> But I feel like y'all still don't believe coach. <laughs> y'all still don't believe coach, that's fine. There was another kid. This kid was number two inches high, eight feet across. You know what I'm saying? This kid was number two inches high, eight feet across. This kid wanted to be a center in the NBA. So what'd he do? He woke up every morning, passing, shooting, dribbling, passing, shooting, dribbling. You know that kid grew up to be? That kid grew up to be the state of Virginia. Exactly right. That kid grew up to be the state of Virginia. The state of Virginia. But y'all don't believe coach. Okay, this kid, this is not the kid, this kid with number a Ziploc bag full of sticks. You see what I'm saying? A Ziploc bag full of sticks. A Ziploc bag full of sticks. A Ziploc bag from a, full of sticks from a pine tree. A pine, an evergreen pine tree. And they put it in a Ziploc bag. That's who this kid was, all right? And this kid wanted to be a center in the NBA. So what he do? He woke up every morning, passing, shooting, dribbling, passing, shooting, dribbling. You know that kid grew up to be? That kid grew up to be the king of the north! The king of the north! The king of the north! That's my coach. That's my coach, man. Oh, thanks. 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 Um, I've been very kind. I'm going to do uh, uh, one, one final bit for y'all. Um, uh, I want to talk about uh, my favorite movie. Uh, and my favorite movie of all time is uh, National Treasure 2. Uh, <laughs> Starring Nicholas, starring Nicholas Cage. Um, it's, it's, it's the greatest movie of all time. Um, the first movie uh, was a normal movie. Nick Cage and his fellow treasure hunters found clues left behind by the founding fathers and they used their knowledge of American history to find the national treasure. That movie made a lot of money. And so for the second one, they just let Nick Cage be Nick Cage. And, um, <laughs> And if you don't know what that means, what that means is the National Treasure 2, he and his fellow treasure hunters will come across a riddle left behind the founding fathers. And rather than using any kind of regular logic, Nick Cage will just blurt out where he wants to go next. <laughs> Everyone looks at him confused. And then Nick Cage then just goes into stream of consciousness until he lands at what he started with, all right? So let's say, for example, they come across an old scroll and it says something to the effect of, the founding fathers always went left. Nick Cage will then be like, we gotta go to London, all right? <laughs> and everyone's like, excuse me, Nick Cage? And Nick Cage is like, <laughs> it says the founding fathers always went left. Therefore, <laughs> we gotta go to London. 
Do you need me to explain it anymore? Fine, I will. The founding fathers always went left. But what is the opposite of left? Right. <laughs> okay? Left, right, left, right, up, down, start is a well-known video game cheat code, okay? My favorite video games are Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. What famous American rapped about having a Super Nintendo and a Sega Genesis at the same time? Notorious B.I.G. B.I.G. B and G are letters. I is a Roman numeral. Numbers and letters. Where do numbers and letters come from? Sesame Street. Jim Henson is the Muppet Master, but the word master rhymes with the board blaster. A blaster is someone that can shoot things like bullets or water. Who is it that shoots water? Squirtle. Squirtle is a Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is Pikachu. Pikachu ends with the letter U. U as in U. Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. Crank that. Crank that. Crank that. What do you crank? A machine. Where the machines start in? The Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution started in London. Therefore, we gotta go to London, y'all. And that's the whole movie. Uh, thanks, y'all. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Good luck, Donnie.